In this video, I'm going to show you four techniques proven by myself and others to help you stop procrastinating and start winning at your goals. As you'll probably know, procrastination is this inability to focus on your work. You sit down to do some work, you know you want to do some work, but you just can't. You're doing other things, you're getting distracted. And it's usually caused by two things, distraction and a lack of drive slash direction. Before we get into the techniques that I've learned that help prevent procrastination, I just want to make it clear that nobody is born a procrastinator, okay? So you're not genetically predisposed, to be a procrastinator. It's a sort of like skill in effect that you learn and you've been conditioned to learn just through bad habits, okay? So procrastination is not something like some people are procrastinators and some people aren't procrastinators. If you're procrastinating currently and you have goals and work that you wanna do and things that you wanna achieve in life, just know that because you are currently procrastinating does not mean that you can stop procrastinating, okay? So from this, we can see that procrastination is actually a mindset. And as with all mindsets, we can change them. Each of these four techniques will help you eliminate procrastination from your life. So I suggest you stick around so you can listen to each one of them and then implement them. That's the most important step. You've got to implement the stuff that I teach you in this video today or else it's not going to help you. Number one is to consume. Now, I know this is going to sound surprising to a lot of people because in the self-improvement space, we're taught that consuming content and uh, watching videos and things like that is actually bad and it's better to just do the thing. So why is it that when you come to do the work, you end up just sitting at your desk and doing nothing and procrastinating, going on your phone and end up watching YouTube? So in order to stop procrastinating, we need to do work instead. But in order to work, we actually need to know what we're working on. So this is where content consumption comes into play. And no, I don't mean consuming mindless content like getting a dopamine hit, going on Instagram, going on TikTok, watching random YouTube videos, watching Mr. Beast. That's not the kind of content we're talking about, okay? We're talking about content that is actually going to increase your knowledge in the thing that you're working on. So for me, for example, I wanted to start an agency. I actually work at an agency and have been working in an agency for two years. So I've been consuming a lot of content on how to run ads, how to outreach to get clients, watching YouTubers like Iman Gadzi. So you need to be consuming the right kind of content in order for you to be able to do the work and not procrastinate on doing the work. So when I say consume content, I don't mean take a break and watch Mr. Beast. I truly mean watch something that's gonna further your knowledge. Watch something on testosterone boosting, no fat, self-improvement. You know, a lot of the people who are probably watching this video right now, you're on self-improvement, you're interested in things to do with improving your health, improving your fitness, improving your ability to make money online. So just make sure that if you're gonna consume content, you're consuming content that's gonna further your knowledge in the things that you're interested in and the things that you're working on. That way, when you come to actually do the work and you're not going to be confused as to what you're working on essentially even stuff like this that you're watching now you're watching content on how to stop procrastinating okay so this is like a good valuable use of your time to watch this because hopefully this will help you to stop procrastinating okay so number two is don't sit down without a plan okay i've done this many times before i've made this mistake i have decided to you know, set out a time frame for which I'm going to work in the afternoon and I sit down and i end up using that time that i should have been working to plan as to what I should actually work on. And I end up spending the whole time just planning out work, essentially doing cope tasks, right? Not actually doing the work. Understand this, sitting down for four hours on an afternoon to visualize and manifest and, you know, goal set, this isn't work, right? You can goal set in just a couple hours whilst you're on a walk. You can goal set whilst you're at the gym. You can plan and think about what videos you're going to make or what kind of content you want to do or what kind of work you need to do doing something else, right? Spend time goal setting and manifesting and doing all these kind of uh, mindset things outside of the time that you allocate to do your extra work, okay? So you can do these things either whilst you're at school or whilst you're on a walk, whilst you're at the gym, or even whilst you're at your, your nine to five job if you have one. Just spend a bit of time during that time to sort of multitask and goal set and get those kind of fundamental things in order so that when you actually come home, you're able to just work. Plan what you're going to work on the next day, the day before, right? So for example, this video I've scripted and I've actually written down a full script of what I'm gonna say and that actually takes time to do. The video is already kind of made, it's on paper. Uh, I just need to record it, right? So that's an example of planning, right? That's gonna help you to stop procrastinating. All these little tasks that you need to do, like setting your goals, planning out what you're gonna do. This is stuff that shouldn't be done in work time. It should be done before the work time, okay? So my best advice on this is honestly just to build a timetable, right? Use something like Google Calendar or just use a notepad on your phone and write down what you're gonna do for every half hour of the day. Allocate half an hour at some point before that or maybe a day before that or two days before that. 
where you can plan exactly what you're gonna do when you sit down to do that work. So that when you sit down to do the work, you know exactly what you're doing, you've already planned it, you've premeditated it. And this way, when you sit down to do the work, you'll not be on your phone, you're not gonna be planning and you're not gonna be directionless uh, in a sense. So you're gonna be, you know, a lot more focused and it's just gonna help you massively to actually just get the work done. Okay, so number three, uh, this is gonna be a big one for a lot of you guys, is remove distractions, okay? So if you wanna stop procrastinating, you need to remove the distractions around you when you're working. The biggest thing by far is gonna be your phone, social media. I've spoke about this before on the channel, especially things like TikTok, Instagram, uh, YouTube is a big one. These are just distractions stopping you from working, right? So the best thing I can suggest for you to do is just put your phone on silent and have it face down. Okay, on your desk, all right, on your on your bed. Don't allow for a notification to pop up and you read your phone, okay? You don't wanna see the notifications. The phone needs to be face down so that you can't see notifications. It needs to be on silence. So you don't know you've got notifications and you need to forget about your phone for two, three hours and you need to get on with your work, okay? Literally, this is the one of the biggest leading causes of procrastination. I'll sit down to do some work and then before I know it, I'll, re I'll you know, without even realizing, I'll just be on my phone on YouTube, just looking through it for, like no reason, right? <laughs> and if you are struggling with this guy, have a dopamine detox. I mean, you probably heard this a lot, especially if you're in the self-improvement space and you're already on self-improvement. Dopamine detox is one of the best things I've done, right? I'll probably do a full video on it, but just getting away from social media, getting away from YouTube, getting away from like the, the rubbish, the crap content consumption, you know, and just focusing on the good content consumption and getting rid of those distractions is amazing because it's, it's basically stopped this like, impulse that i've had this almost like reflex to just go grab my phone whenever i'm like my brain's not fully engaged with work i have this kind of thing where like i need to go grab my phone right and i'm sure a lot of you guys have that having a dopamine detox is going to help remove that impulse to go grab your phone okay and if you implement this for a few weeks it'll feel a bit strange at first but honestly you'll forget that you've got a phone like maybe this is a bad thing right but like my girlfriend will call me and text me and i just like well answered it's just not because i don't want to speak to her it's because i actually just haven't seen the text like i don't go on my phone like i say this to her like listen i i don't go on my phone anymore right and if i'm working then communication is in the background right i'm working i've set out that time to work and my phone is not in use okay and finally number four is just Routine, okay? Um, I'm gonna be honest, I think this is probably the biggest one, the biggest uh, bit of advice I can give you to stop procrastinating is get into a solid routine. My routine literally now is I wake up, I'll do my morning routine, go to work, I'll finish my work day, I'll come home, I'll go straight to the gym. After the gym, I go for a walk, about a 30 minute walk, and I come home, open up my laptop, I get everything ready to record or to write and script videos, whatever it is I need to do, whatever it is I've planned that week that I've said I need to do, I'll just do, right? I'll literally just work, okay? And this is the kind of routine you need to get into. And it's about being consistent. It's hard at first to stay consistent with a routine like this because there's no time in this routine for like chilling out and relaxing, okay? The chilling out and relaxing happens when I'm asleep, right? Every other waking possible moment of the day, I am literally just being productive. Getting into a routine like this is gonna be the single best thing to keep you consistent, keep you accountable, and stop procrastinating. Because the biggest thing with procrastination, which I think is the biggest problem, and the biggest problem that I had, is a lack of like drive and oomph to go and do the thing that I wanna do. And getting into a routine where it's a lot more disciplined and there's a lot less dopamine involved and it's a lot more just, you know, work, go to the gym, go for a walk for the cardio aspect of it, and then sit down and work again more. It's like, it's quite grueling at first, but now, honestly, it feels weird not to be in that routine. So again, one of the biggest things to just help you stop procrastinating is get into a good routine where your days are very similar and structured. You wake up at a very similar time every day, you go to bed at a very similar time every day, and you sort of do the same tasks every day. As long as they're productive tasks, you're gonna you're gonna end up being productive, right? <laughs> as long as they're productive tasks throughout the day and you're doing them every day, you'll get places, you know what I mean? You'll achieve your goals. If those tasks involve working towards your goals and working towards what you wanna work on, whether that be some kind of school thing or whether that be, you know, furthering your career or whether it be YouTube, whatever it is, if you're working on it every day and you set a routine aside where you're gonna work on it every day, 
you'll get better at that thing, right? You're gonna, you're gonna succeed, okay? Hope you guys found that useful, informative. Leave me a comment down below if you actually end up implementing any of these things and if it helps you to get on with your work and to stop procrastinating. So yeah, have a good rest of your day, man. Thanks for watching.